Welcome TV family, we're back and here with Chronix who just came off the stage after a wonderful performance tonight. He performed with the Zinc Fence Redemption for the first time at Rosatom Sunsplash and he brought a lot of people with him. Janine was there, Jesse Royal was there, Kabaka Pyramid was there. We all had a wonderful time, but how did you experience the performance tonight? It, it is a very humbling thing, you know what I mean? I was very emotional right through the set, you know? Because, you know, as we know, you probably know more than others, you know, that this is, this is us, this is how we make music, this is the inspiration behind the whole movement, you know, this is how we perform together in Jamaica. So, the fact that we can bring that same energy and that same vibe to, you know what I mean, to Yasa, halfway around the world, it's a great joy, you know what I mean, we fly past the continent, coming out of Europe, you know what I mean, bring the same positive vibe, you know what I mean, the unity. That, that, thing, that thing where people need to say about reggae, you know, because we see a lot of feud and we hear a lot of this and that. You know, the, that unity that people need to see, it's a great joy that we are able to spread that unity and that love to everybody, yeah. And uh, today you're not having only the chance to be here as a reggae performer, but uh, you met the people at this uh, very particular session of the Reggae University, telling the people about the sense of unity of, uh, of, your, of, the, of uh, the Reggae Revival movement. So what about the vibe this afternoon at, at the session of the Reggae University? Yeah, it was my first time at a university. Yeah, because... <laughs> and the greatest thing is that it was a Reggae University, you know? Um, no. We give thanks and praise, man, for the platform where we can come and speak about our very rich musical culture, you know what I mean, and even expound more to the whole massive here in Europe, you know, more about our movement and what we are about, what our music is for, you know what I mean, what this movement and this mission is for, you know what I mean, and I was there alongside Mike Ashimaya, Infinite, you know, and Exile the Brave Tree, and the, 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 the soldiers, them will levitate them whole life towards preserving, you know what I mean, that Jamaican roots and culture, you know what I mean? And it's not necessarily what we know as the traditional way how to play reggae music. It is just music, you know what I mean? But no matter what form or shape it takes, it will always be filled with the original Jamaican roots and culture, which is righteousness, peace and love equal rights and justice for all mankind which is you know what i mean care for the elder you know what i mean nourish the weak help the weak you know love the sick care for the sick care for the elders all of these things is jamaican vibes you know what i mean and that is what we are trying to put in our music not any other vibes that we have adapted from this modern culture and this modern world system but the original jamaican vibes it was a great pleasure to share that you know yeah and uh, you have this uh, great, great record out, the Dread and Terrible pro project is out on CD and very important on vinyl too. Great uh, cover, uh, great content, and uh, it's a uh, uh, multi-producer record. So what about the inspiration behind that uh, very important project? Well, the project Dread and Terrible, you know, it's, I started out working on it as my EP and then I decided to show on the dub, the dub versions you know, which made it from seven to eight to, to ten tracks, you know what I mean? And now we have a project with ten tracks, we released it with a, 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 a you know, a little mini movie for Rastaman Wheel Out and, you know what I mean? We just did the video for Capture Land to be released soon alongside LRG and, you know what I mean? It's just a great joy. The main thing about the project is, you know what I mean, it, it is to mark the assembling of a new generation of youths who, you know what I mean, need to know the importance of our culture. Because now we find ourselves in, as a part of a movement that is decades old. So we have to know what happened in the decades before us, we came about. You know, and that is what the record, the, the whole record is about. You know, and it, it, it deals with a whole heap of our side of history. Because we are told a lot about history and Caribbean history and European history, but our side of the story is almost never been told. You know, so it says a lot about our account of what happened with slavery within Capture Land and 
you know, the, the, the Eurocentrism and the Europeanization of us Africans and you know what I mean? And these things are very serious atrocities and we as Rasta, what Rasta created for us as Rasta youths within the, the inception of Rasta, it gave us a hope. It gave us something to lean on and it it redeemed us from that whole ordeal and that you know atrocity and that catastrophe. You know, that genocide and all of that like it, 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 it redeemed me from it now. We's new people. We's dignified people because now we are a people of royalty led by a king. You know what I mean? So that's what Rasta did for us. And the, the, the project kind of outlined them things there, you know? Rasta liberty and health, fitness within Sperling and all of them songs. It's just what Rasta have been dealing with. It's like a history book for the youth, them, for the younger youths. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you spoke of it already, Rastaman Veal Out, the visual came with the EP, and it was not just a music video, it was a whole short movie done by the great Ras Casa, who has done more than hundreds of music videos. How was working with him? And um, another question, because I felt like it catched the vibe a bit of the Rockers movie. And I know Rockers was not done with a script, it was all improvised. So was Rastaman Veal Out, in a, in a similar in a similar fashion or how was it like yeah well uh, there was a concept but nothing was written because what we are doing we are trying to capture our you know what i mean and it so happens that the way we live now is very you know it, it, it have a lot of that element within it the whole rockers vibes and because we is we are children of reggae music when you check it everybody in zing fence redemption you know what i mean as a matter of fact, we make music and live amongst the, the, all the people who was in the Rockers movie, from Kiddo Side to Earl Chinna Smith. You know what I mean? You know, people like Inner Circle and them people is with family the same way. You know what I mean? The Sly and Robbie, all of them is with family them same way, our mouth and all of them. So we know, we know, we find ourselves in a situation where we did have to just put that there. I make make it known, say, oh, it's, it's the same thing as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. You know what I mean? So, yeah, and I mean, who, who is better to do it than Raskasa? You know what I mean? He is just a personality by himself, you know what I mean? We say big up Raskasa every time. He is a visionary, you know, he is a, he, 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 he is a equal rights person, he is an activist for humanity and for, you know, for Rasta and all of them things there. So we give thanks and praise, you know? And we'd like to end the interview with uh, going back to the reggae university. You said something very important, as that, that the reggae revival movement is not only a matter of uh, young musicians living in Jamaica and spreading the vibe together, but it's uh, including each and everyone, like all the people listening to the music all over the world, all the people promoting the music. So I think this is very important. All of us, all of us reggae revival, every single one of us, everybody out there in the audience, they are the reggae revival, you know? Because who knows that a little youth from Jamaica, from Spanish Town, Jamaica. Now, who am I to be singing in front of all of these people along with Janine and all of these great people? Like, it's not really we as Kranix and Janine and Jesse Ryle and Kabaka Pyramid. Who is the revival? It's not Kelly Sai, it's not J. Island. You know what I mean? It is literally the people. Then. Because we born making music, most of us. Our fathers, our grandfathers, our parents are musicians. You know what I mean? Or some family or some friend, you know? All of us have a musical background. So we're born and grew up in a music. The only thing that is new is this great following that we now have. So that is really the reggae revival to me, from my perspective, you know? And we give thanks for the reggae revival every day because, you know, even though even humanity have a fall in a sleep period, everybody have a period when them sleep. Even we as human beings, we work, we play, we awake, then we fall asleep, then we wake up back. So within everything, there is a high point, there's a falling asleep, there's a asleep, and then there's a resurrection. You know what I mean? There is a re re revival within every aspect in life. Every tree grow, then it died and grow again. You know what I mean? That, that is just how life is. So it is like that within reggae music. See me, because reggae always reflect what happens in life, e in every aspect. You know, from the heartbeat to the words to everything, everything in life is in reggae music, you know. So we give thanks.
thank you very much. As our friends uh, Dati Bookman would say, tried and true. Thank yeah, you man. very much. Give Ron. thanks. Thank Rasta. Yeah, man. Break a night.